guys how are you guys doing today is going to be a very very interesting topic hmm. a lady actually sent me a story and said her boyfriend got married to somebody else and now the boyfriend has come back to tell her that she lo he loves her hey it's because of her i'm doing this live video because she says her boyfriend actually follows me so guys we're going to be talking about this tonight um she said my boyfriend left me and got married now he's saying he loves me should i date him so i'm quickly going to give you guys the full story from my email hold on guys so somebody sent me a story and said hi blessing ceo god bless you for everything that you do i want to share this i want to share this thoughts with you because it is bothering me and I'm going to be very, very honest. I dated my boyfriend for four years. We've been good. I even had two abortions for him. He has taken me to go and see his parents, but as of then, he was not ready. He was not ready for marriage because he was not financially capable. I waited for him for four years, and after four years, he went to go and marry somebody else. Three months after his marriage, he came back to me telling me that he loves me and he wants us to continue dating. I refused and he begged me. He has his and he begged me. He's still begging me and crying. I will not lie to you, blessing see you. We actually had sex that night that he came to beg me. I still love him very, very much and I want to be with him. Should I date him? I don't even know how to leave him. Help me, please. I need your advice. So um <laughs> she practically said she dated this guy for four years and um this guy actually left her and went to go and marry somebody else. Three months after that, the man came back and said he's in love with her. They even had sex. So the girlfriend has now become the side chick. Is that right? So she said they even have se had sex and um, she's still in love with the guy. Anyway, first of all, um, I'm not going to blame the young girl because being in a relationship for four years is giving somebody your all so i i understand the fact that you might find it very um difficult to withdraw from him but i'm going to give you reasons why you should leave that guy i'm going to give you reasons first of all number one we have acknowledged the fact that it's going to be hard for you to leave the guy because you were with him for so long but most times we need to remember how people treat us it is how people treat us that enables us to stay around them treatment is very important because sometimes when people hurt you and they come back you forget about how they treated you there are some treatments that are deliberate they are intentional it's not a mistake you must be able to identify intentional act mistakes and circumstances there are some acts that people thought about they reasoned about before they did it those kind of acts are the kind of acts that you don't forgive you let go the things that you forgive are things like attitude, characters, circumstances, things that people did not have control over. That is what is called a mistake. A mistake is not intentional. A mistake is not even something somebody thought about. A mistake is something that just happens spontaneously. You don't even know how you got there. That is a mistake. But that one that somebody sit down, thought about it, analyzed it, visualized it, is not a mistake. And this your boyfriend dated you for four years and left you and went to go and marry another woman do you know what it takes to get married that means while you were in the relationship he was dating this girl he was cheating on you he did not only cheat on you he deceived you by taking you to his mother you waited for him when he was not financially buoyant he didn't have money then when he became financially buoyant he went to go and marry somebody else and after marrying the person, he came back three months to come and tell you that he's in love with you. And you are asking me, blessing, should I date him? What do we call that? It is called foolishness. Foolishness most times is not an insult. Foolishness is when you cannot use your thinking faculty at that point in time. That's what foolishness is. It simply means you don't want to reason because it is only people that reason that are not foolish. But when you're not reasoning, at some point in, in time, every one of us can be foolish. Yes. We've all played some, do some foolish things in our life. So at this point, 
if you want to go back to this guy, it simply means it is arrant foolishness. Because this guy is somebody that tr deliberately treated you like a doormat. Remember what I used to say in a couple of my videos. Men marry women for different reasons. A man, a lot of men, especially in this part of the world called Africa, are so afraid of independent, powerful women. When I say powerful, a lot of men don't want to change their bad behaviors. Instead of them to change their bad behavior, they will prefer to change the women and go and look for that woman that will tolerate their bad behaviors. A lot of men know that they have bad behaviors, but they don't want to change because change is an effort. Change takes time. It's like an addiction. For you to actually stop an addiction, you will go to rehab. You will isolate yourself. It's like when they say they're taking you to psychiatric hospital. People don't want to go to psychiatric hospital because of isolation. So for you to change, it's actually a process. You're going to, just like when you're going to the gym and you want six pack. It's like you are infusing pain on yourself. The reason why most of us cannot go to the gym is the pain that we are going to face in the gym. That's why if we have money, we we'll rush and do like social. Even though like social is pain too, but at least that one is short pain. <laughs> do you understand? So a lot of men already know that they have bad attitude, but they don't want to go through that pain of changing it. They will rather change the they will rather change the women and put a woman through pain. Did you get the ideology? Instead of a lot of men to change their bad behavior. They will change their woman. Instead of going through the pain of change, they will change the women in their life and put the woman through that pain. That pain they don't want to go through, and that woman will be going through it. That is what has happened to a lot of African women. I use Africa because it is majorly in Africa that a lot of women tolerate bullshit in this part of the world. It hardly happened outside the country. It hardly happened in an exposed country. It is majorly in this part of the world. So you see a lot of men marrying women that they don't love. A lot of men have married women that they don't love. Why? Because they don't want to change their bad behavior. Many men are more in love with their girlfriends than their wives. I am telling you the honest truth. They are more, but because they don't want to change, that their girlfriend is so strong, they, don't want, they would marry a doormat and date a powerful woman. That is fruit salad for them. They will value their girl. That's why sometimes you're wondering, ah, this man wife is fine now. This man wife is this now. Why does he have a girlfriend? It's because so many men just marry women that they can use, women they can manipulate. And in this part of the world, so many men have misunderstood the meaning of that word, peace of mind. A lot of men actually feel that peace of mind simply means, let me manipulate you. If you want to have a conversation, a man will tell you, please, I want peace. You want to tell a man, baby, what you're doing is not right. I want peace. They, a lot of African men feel that peace of mind is when you don't talk. Peace of mind is when you are a daft. Peace of mind is when they go and come back and tell them welcome. You don't ask them where they are coming from. That's what some people call peace of mind. Some men don't even understand the meaning of peace of mind. That's the honest truth. Some men want peace. Yes, they will not give you peace. Some men don't want you to touch their phone. Yes, they are touching your phone. Some men don't want you to do so many things that they are doing. That is affecting you. So, when they say they want peace of mind, most of them don't want peace of that mind. Most of them want what is called doormats. They are looking for women that will be marching on top of their head. That's the one they like. That's why most times I have some couples come to my office. I used to tell a lot of married women, if you see the way your husband treats side chick, there are some things that husbands do to their wife that they will not try with their side chick. Oh Lord Jesus. They will not try it. When they get to their side chick, they respect themselves. That is the meaning of doormats. So a lot of men actually prefer marrying men that are doormats. Oh yes, member. Uh, those ones that want to marry by all means. That want to marry December. Those ones that are in Shilo, praying raka, so po, so po, so po. Those are the ones they are looking for. So that they can keep you in the house and be going about gallivanting and looking for fruit salad. So I think in this situation, that is what this guy have done. This guy have married somebody that can be loyal to him, that can be a doormat to him, and he's coming back to you to be his girlfriend. Don't fall for it. Let me tell you one thing most of you don't understand. Now, nothing stops me from saying, date this your boyfriend, though. After all, you love him. Now, let me tell you the disadvantage of dating multiple people. The disadvantage of dating multiple people and sleeping with multiple people. Hmm? You can keep 
lots of friends. But when you are sleeping with too many people, you become confused. Confusion is when you don't know what you want. When you have too many things that you don't know how to use. That is the bet of confusion. You have 64 iPhone. You don't even know where the move button is. You have 50 shoes. You don't know how to dress. You have 25 hair. You don't know what color to use. That is what it means to be confused. You have too many things you cannot use. So, and when you have too many things often time that you don't know how to use, you become confused. Do you understand? Those are the kind of people we call money miss road. Some people, they actually money miss road. And some people that have so much money, they don't even know what to do with it. So, the reason why I always advise a lot of women to let go of all this kind of excess and focus is because when you start to date this your ex and start to sleep with this your ex, you will start to feel that you're in a relationship. You will now forget that this person is married. This person will now be wasting your time. When you double date, you don't have a reality. You only have what is called illusion. And when you have illusions, you don't give your best. You only give your best when you are focused. It is even better for you to give your best to one person and have heartbreak. There is always this fulfillment that you tried. There is always this fulfillment that you grew something. Yes. There is always this excitement that I actually loved somebody. Because sometimes it's not actually even easy to love somebody. So sometimes you can even love one person the day you die. Other people will be loving you. So most times, the reason why you stick to one person is because you want to be focused. And when you are focused, that's when you can get the best out of something. It is luck when people don't focus in you, they don't see the good in you. And that's the reason why you throw away negativity. Negative people don't see the good in you. They just look at you. So when you have too many things that are distracting, you will never see the good in the things that you love. That's why you see so many families that, that will give birth to 10 children, 12 children. They cannot train them. But at least when you give birth to the ones you can train, you can be able to see the good in them. So one thing you don't rush call your picking useless, useless boy, useless girl, useless children. I don't know if you're getting my point. So I always advise people, take the little you can handle and make the best out of it. Don't go and pack too many things, busy doing nothing. You're packing things you don't even know left to right. If it is business, focus on one business and make good out of the business. Let the business now yield to other businesses. But you're a master in a craft. Some of you have not mastered any craft. You are doing 50 things. You are forming business guru. And you are failing at all of them. You must be known for something before you can be able to explore other things in your life. It's the same thing as relationship. So when you go back and start dating this guy, he's going to be distracting you. You'll be feeling that you have relationship. By the time you know it, you have clicked 50. You will see that this person just came to waste your time. So that is what has happened to so many of you in a relationship. You have allowed people to come and waste your time. Now, as you begin to grow, the bet of maturity simply means you will not come and waste my time. You become conscious about your time because time and energy is something you can never get back. Maturity is what makes you, what makes you protect your space. It is better you even give yourself your energy because anything you give yourself goes back to you. But you don't want to deliberately go and be wasting your time. You can't get it back. And that's the most annoying thing about heartbreak. What is money? Money is not the heartbreak. The thing is, what is... Everything I have given to people in a relationship, I have gotten it double. But the point is my time. My energy. I know where I would have been now if not for most of the useless relationships that have been serving me breakfast. So most times, for you to grow, you need to be conscious and conservative about your time. They're those things you cannot get back. So if you decide to want to go back to this guy, he is going to waste your time. Don't forget, he has a wife. He has, he has a reason to go back home. He has a life. You don't. So going back to your boyfriend is what is called foolishness. I'm going to be very honest with you guys on this video. Number two, there are some of our exes that... We might never stop sleeping with until we get married. There are some of our exes that are good in bed. Yes. When you've dated somebody for like four years, the person is used to your body. The person understands every bit of you. He knows what to do to make you scream, to make you mourn. He knows your mood button. Four years, no be beans. So I understand that sometimes 
it might be difficult to detach, especially sexually. Let me tell you something, women. You can actually have sex and go. It is not everybody, it's not every time you have sex that you're in love. You can actually knock without adding emotion. Enjoy the sex. Wear your pants, wash your pickles, carry your back and go. Learn it. It will be useful to you. It is not everybody that you knock that you love. It is not every of your ex that you knock that you go back to. Hmm. You get sometimes where they go serve you plantain and rice and stew with meat. If the rice is not sweet, pick the plantain, chop and leave the rice. They go. You must not eat the rice. <laughs> so, on that part, if you are strong enough, you can actually have sex and go. I'm being honest here. I don't want to sound unrealistic and start sounding. Hey, that one is motivational speaking. Being honest is the fact that a lot of people are attached, especially when you've been in a long distant relationship. It might be so hard for you to detach, especially sexually. Very hard. So, but the point is you can have the sex and go without being committed to the person. Sex is not love. Sex is just exercise. That's how I see it. Sex is what you want it to be. And that's the reason why you can have sex with people you love and have sex with people you don't love. Sex is a state of mind. What you want to call it. Anything you want to call sex, that is what it's going to be. So you must learn that part of your life, that sex is not love. It's not everybody you have sex with. You come and start attaching so much to it. If you know you cannot control your sexual urge, you cannot control your body, you must learn to control your emotions. That is where a man becomes more powerful than a woman. Women, once they off pants, they are in love. Men will off boxers for 20 women and still go back to the woman that they love. It's just sex. So you have to also learn it as a woman. It's going to help you. It's not everybody that you're off pants for that you now want to marry. That's not how they are. Nobody's going to do this. Mm? So to the beautiful lady is who is um who sent us this message, I'm going to say, please, please, please leave this guy alone. He is not good for you. He's 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 he's, he's a no go area. Please leave the guy alone. Shun him. Next time he comes to your house, carry him with his jacket. That is throw him outside your house. Tell him to go back to his wife. If he comes back to you again, snap him and send to me. Let me give him to Insta blog to post. Yeah? Good. So I'll send his picture to this lover. They'll post it so that he can now rest his blockers. So please, guys, if you have exes like this, allow these people go. Don't let people waste your time, your energy. Don't let people stress you. So many times, most of all the stress are the things you allow into your life. Stop allowing these things into your life. Sometimes they say, oh, we are forming hard to get. We are forming tough girl. It's not tough girl hard to get to. It's my space. You cannot come and waste my space and my time. No, 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 no. I'm very, very conservative about my space. People are allowing into my space because I know that once I give you my energy and my time, I cannot get it back. So please, we need to be very, very careful about the people we allow into our... We must also learn to let go. Learn to let people go. Stop holding people like this. You were not born with them. Anybody when no one grease, they leave and make it, they go, and that person will come. And they tell you, learn to let people. Because people that don't want to stay, they should carry their wallet and be going. Because if you don't learn to let people go, some of you, the problems you are facing in your life right now are the things you refuse to let go of. Most times, you are the wish weapon that is fashioned against yourself. Because of the things you are holding so close. I don't want to live. I, I go die here. We die here. You go die there. And if you die here, we move on. So you need to be very, very conscious of if this person no one stay, leave and make it a go back. Move. You're going to meet better people along the way. Um, with this few points of mine, I hope I've been able to um, answer that question. And I hope um, a lot of you have actually learned from this video. And um, if you have any question, you could just quickly ask the question before I go. Take off my makeup and take my shower. So any question, guys? What do I have? You have any questions? I just came back from a dinner. That's the reason why I'm looking all bougie, looking all hurt, sassy. I know, baby. Looking all beautiful. <laughs> so if you have any question, guys, please ask me before I can go wash up my makeup. Uh, I love you, blessing. I love you too, baby. We move. <laughs> we move. So any question, guys? Ugh, this we done to scratch me. Mm.
Can't I just be posh all through the video? I don't know. Dear boy, me just <laughs> village girl, village girl. No matter how many wig you wear, her, one another verse. Uh -huh. The bush continue. So, any other question, guys? I'll save the video. Don't worry. Much love. When did you go for dinner? Hmm. Don't worry. I'll give you guys the gist. That one is. I'll post it. Calm down. <laughs> hey, blessing. I'm in Lagos now. This Lagos. We go walk out for this Lagos. We go go everywhere. Every go go. We go enter everywhere. This Lagos. We don't come. We don't come. I'm beginning to sound like really. <laughs> Okay, blessing. What if okay? Somebody said, Blessing, what if you have a partner that wants a threesome? <laughs> threesome is not bad. Threesome is understanding. If you want the partner that ha have that wants a threesome, do you want a threesome? So it's something you guys need to talk about. I used to talk about if you talk about something, the essence of talking about something with your partner is so that you don't live in regrets. It is when you don't discuss something, when you lack understanding about the things that you believe in. So talk to you. If it's something you guys want to explore, why not? Threesome is not bad. So talk about it. He should not force you into doing it. She should not force you into it. You guys should have an understanding. Oh, baby, let's try. Let it be fun. So I don't think it's wrong. It's just um, communication. The problem is, that means if I want to have threesome, but the problem between me and my man is... He said he will bring another gay. I said, no, me, I'll bring another. So you are still contemplating who will bring man and who will bring gay. I said, okay, you are not ready. Me, I want two men. He said he wants two gay. I said, okay, rest. You bring... So, maybe when we see the man and the gay, <laughs> we can now do the trees. So there's nothing wrong. It's adventure. And make sure you guys play safe. I beg, use condom. And get a clean game. Uh-huh. So, in essence, relationship that is meant to be Catching crews, don't be catching feelings. <laughs> um, any other question? Become I usually <laughs> mm, somebody said, Become I usually come to bomb, but I didn't know that you are the owner. Oh, really? I need your contacts, please. It's very important. Please kindly send me a DM. I don't have phone. I said, You want to buy me a phone? So I'd see. Buy for me, please. Bless him. Make a video on how to make a man give you money. I don't know my boyfriend, move button. How to make a man give you money. Don't go and walk. Which one is how to make a man give you money? If I stone you with this phone. Are you a gold digger? Ni? Which one is how to make a man give you money? What, what, what nonsense is that? Are you not walking? Any man that does not give you money does not want to give you money. You see that he does not want to give you or you don't deserve it. So if a man does not want to give you money, leave him alone. There is no manual of how to make a man give you money. That is why it's so easy for Babalawo to use people's head. How to make a man give you money that he does not want to give you. Does he even have the money that you want to collect? <laughs> because <laughs> my man always collects my jewelry and other stuff and give his wife to wear it. He will tell me he likes it and I should give him. Small time, the wife will be wearing it. He wants me as a second wife. <laughs> you see why I like this by job? I like this by job because you know not this, you know not this, not the coming out. You understand? You, you, you think you have a head story, you don't get one new thing. She said, that means apparently she's dating a married man. And she says her boy, her man, married man boyfriend, used to call her a jewelry. Just like now, I'll be dating a married man, he'll come and call her my hair and I'll give his wife. Are you, are you even normal at all? Like, you guys are so weird. <laughs> He's supposed to be buying from you for you. He will be collecting the one you have and give it to his wife. Madam, you 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 need deliverance. I think your own is touch. You don't need therapy. Gaba church, nah, because they need to pray on your head and wash your head. <laughs> that is actually weird. I don't know where your question is going to be. Your question doesn't you know balance. So um any other question guys. <sighs> I don't say. Any other question? <laughs> I prefer to collect jewelry and give his wife. Guys are so weird. <sighs> Any other question, guys? So, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my dating site. Click the link on the bio. Hmm. Go and subscribe. You will not go and subscribe now. Instead of you to go to Shiloh, go and subscribe. Hmm. We have over 3,000 subscribers. Come and see hot, hot guys. Hey. I'm moving on that dating site too. Tough guys. Hey, 
There was this guy I saw on the dating site. Jesus. Every girl has practically followed that guy. This guy is hot. And he has money. Hmm. Like Jay-Z Wego. Me people should not be shocked if I marry this year. Somebody don't be shocked. Hmm. Kind of guys on that dating site. Eh? Guys are single. Oh. Guys are single. So, any other question? So guys, I think I'm going to have to leave you guys. So thank you so very, very much for coming on my live video. I love you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my dating site. Click the link on my bio, breakormakeup.com. Okay, guys. I love you guys very, very much. And have a wonderful night. Make sure you go to church tomorrow. Somebody said, how will you know a guy loves you but not after your body? Let me ask you a question, women. If you don't give a man your body, what can you give him? If you don't give a man your body, what can you give him? I'm waiting for the answer. I need women to answer that question. If you don't give a man your body, if you say now, I don't want to have sex with a man until he gets married to me, what will you be doing for the man? Women, where are you? What will you be doing for a man if you cannot give him sex? <laughs> Somebody said kidney. What will you be doing for a man if you cannot give him sex? If you cannot, if you don't want to give a man sex, what can you give him? Somebody said support. You have not finished supporting yourself. Now to go to support man. <laughs> you never start support. Support her. What kind of support are you giving to a man? Because for you to be looking for a man that loves you, you don't even have support for yourself. Somebody said ideas are coming. Companionship are coming. Support and building his dream. Judge the builder. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you want to go and build my dream. You don't get dream. You ever build dream. Judge the builder. I see you architect. The build house. Contractor. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you want to be with a man, you must prepare your mind to have sex. It's a preparation. You would hardly see a man that wants to be in a relationship with you and not want to have sex with you. They are rare. So, if you want to keep yourself, stay away from men. You will learn to build what is called friendship before love. If you want love, you must be ready to knock. If you want to keep yourself, you must be ready to build what is called friendship. Friendship must come before love. People will get to know you, get acquainted with you, which is rare. So when you're saying, uh, how will a man love you and don't want to sleep with you? What will a man be doing with you if he's not sleeping with you? I'm not saying you should be saying, don't get me wrong, though. Even the virgins of today that we have. <laughs> One lady came to my office and told me, Blessing, I'm a virgin. And my boyfriend wants to break my virginity, but I want to keep myself till I get married. I thought I really, she said yes. So when you go to your boyfriend's house, what do you people used to do in your quiet moment? She said we kiss, sometimes he give me head, he fingers me, I give him blue job, he come, I come. I say virgin, and you have started coming. Hey! Now we're entire virgin. Virgin, 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 I'm get to orgasm. Virgin that is collecting head and one lot My sister, my sister, please, 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 don't stress me. So, those are the kind of veggies we have today. Veggies that are collecting head, collecting blow job, and collecting ligi ligi, and getting to orgasm. I don't know, my sister, go and knock. <laughs> because this one that you have done, FIR awaits you. Go and knock, knock, You are collecting head. You are collecting blow job. I say, yeah, I beg. I don't beg you nothing. Some people say, eh, so long as they've not penetrated me, my sister. So long as you're certain involving in sexual intercourse, licky licky, sucky sucky, blow blow blow, you are able to like coming. <laughs> come. Can you come without having sex? <laughs> sex is not penetration, sex is the mind. That is why the Bible says, if you think about it, if you conceal it, if you see a girl and just imagine, wow, see big nyash. Now, if I, you've had sex with her, 
you can actually even have sex with people in your mind without even touching them and you will come that is the best of masturbation is a mind if you masturbate do you touch anybody do you know sometimes even without even touching yourself thinking about someone can make you to come yes i'm telling you you're a virgin and you are coming I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Everybody should just go and rest here because nobody should stress me. <laughs> we want to be veggie, be veggie. If you don't want to be veggie, don't stress us. And tell us, ah, you're collecting blowjob, you're collecting whatever. So that's the reason why we say date people you love, be friends with who you love. So that even if you decide to, I'm not asking you to have sex with anybody if you don't want to, but it's easier for you to keep yourself by staying off men. Yes, you know, go give dog. Men and women are like dog and bone. That's the honest truth. You cannot go and give dog bone and say bone should not chop it. All those ones you are doing in story. So if you actually want to keep yourself, you have to be able to stay away from men and build what is called friendship. And when you build friendship, it is very rare, very rare. Very few men will want to keep you without having sex with you. Very few of them. They are still men like that, but very few of them. So, and for those men to be able to keep you, you have to build what is called friendship. And a lot of women don't even know how to build friendship to even start with, so... Um, um, any other question, guys? I can go now, right? Any other question? Uh, hmm. I'm waiting for the question. Can I go, guys? Okay, I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the link on my bio and register on my dating site, breakormakeup.com. 1,000 naira only and you're good to go.